to kite? I want to talk with you. I guess you're pretty famous these days, but I know that guys like you are just a fluke. If you think I'm wrong, come to Lambda Stalking Silent Footstep Dungeon by yourself. I didn't really think we were getting that famous, but apparently we're making a bit of a work a bit of a reputation for ourselves. Okay then, Marlo. That's another place for us to go. Now let's see here, I don't think there's much else here, though again, they do talk a little more about Pluto's kiss. Everything, again, it's a huge network crisis that happened some five years prior that just about destroyed the world. The only operating system that wasn't affected by it was Ultimate, the operating system we're all using now. I believe the internet itself was down completely for a year or two after this incident while everything was put re-put together again, and Ultimate was legally made the only operating system. Network safety law, nothing special, nothing special. Five years since network crisis, which is again referring to Pluto's kiss. See anything else while I'm here? Not really. We did still have some new mail, though. And some new news as well. Let's see here. Tokyo Mega Float Operation begins. Don't really care. Don't really care. What's up here? Enviro, man. Don't really care. Ah, oh, from three people. Pyros! Good old Pyros! They <laughs> found the location of the cat player that humiliated him. Yeah, okay, so it looks like we get to help Pyros, Pyros go and... Stop Mia, or something. <laughs> Sanjuro! Help needed! Found a really good sword at those keywords. So we can go there as well. And a message from good old Natsume. I'll be stronger. It's goodbye to the useless old Natsume. Oh, don't say that, Natsume. You've helped me kill freaking Kubia. You're far from useless. The next time we meet, my level will be ten times more. You're level 40, aren't you? That... You can't be level 400 in this game. Oh well, I don't know what trouble she's getting herself into. And there is something yet again new on the board, though I didn't read everything last time. Level up. That's it, right? Yep, looks like it. Ten times. If you defeat the level ten vine at the bottom of that dungeon, your level will be ten times its current level. Check it out for yourself if it's true or not. I smell hoax. I really smell hoax. It's like a dream come true! Thank you so much! When I opened my status window, my level was really ten times! I really smell hoax. I don't believe that for half a second. But apparently Natsume believes it. Ah, uh, the innocent girl really needs... <laughs> oh well, looks like the regular players are running about again. I guess the server's back to normal. And we have five areas to go to now. We can play Goblin Tag, go where Marlo had us going, Pyros, Pyros to um, <laughs> track down Mia, help Sandro with a weapon, and Natsume is trying to get the level 10 vine. Well, let's go ahead and go top down. I'll save Marlo for last, though, since that's a solo dungeon. I'm doing it last this time, so I don't get destroyed with that last one. Let's go to Bottomless Hopeless Footstep. Now, who can I invite for this? Let's see, kinda goes without saying we're grabbing Mistral. You can't actually grab Natsume, she's off in this dungeon on her own. We can grab... 
Black Rose, why not? Okay, here I come! And Mistral, please tell me you're on. Alrighty, I'm coming! Guess the shopping didn't take too long. Not Black Rose. Chaos Gate! Word list! Bottomless, hopeless, footstep! To the level 10 vine! Okay then, I'll go ahead and clear out these uh, portals here on the f on the field, and be back momentarily. Let us unwind with a Natsume dungeon. Now, there are a couple of things I'd like to bring up. First of which is that there's a portal right there, so I'm gonna have to go around it. But for the most part, I'm completely cropping out the fields. And there are gat dang it another portal. And there are some nifty fields. These are neat places to run around. This is where I first encounter enemies. I'll occasionally see enemies here that I didn't even see in the oh wow, I'm here already. I guess my aim was just horrible. Well, before I go in, so I like haven't shown off any of the fields at all. Other than maybe on occasion I'll get attacked right as soon as I enter. And a couple of you have expressed interest in actually seeing me fight some things on the field. Now, of course, I'm not... I'm never going to show every fight on the field. That'll take some 20 minutes to kill everything on the field. But I was wondering if everyone would mind if I killed a couple enemies on the field, made my way to the dungeon, and then silently edited there my going back to... and clearing out the entire field, clearing out these... Um, going back to town, taking care of all of that. Because I actually need that time to off-screen a couple things. Even, I'm not just simply clearing out every field on the area. I'll go back to town, I'll clean up, I'll gear everybody up. I use that time. So, I was wondering if everyone would, would mind if I actually showed off a couple of battles on the field every time. That aside... I've been getting everyone much better gear, as I mentioned before, and now I can actually slow down a little bit since I'm realizing just how fast I'm buzzing through these games. And I'll say, I gave Kite almost the, one of the most powerful weapons in the game. Gotten from uh, by abusing the Spring of Mists, I had to go to some high-level areas to do that, and that involved my slinking around amongst enemies that would probably utterly destroy me. I did take... well, I'll just go ahead and show you. I did take a knock in accuracy. My previous ones were 20 accuracy. But other than one specific weapon, no other weapon in this game has an accuracy over 20 or over 10 or so. So, I'm good with it for a bonus in attack. And I'm not really missing the accuracy. Now, Mr. on the other hand, has the Jester's Wand here. An attack of 25, far higher than any other weapon in the game. It is a physical a physical evade minus 15, though. I'll just hope she never gets hit. Now, while off-screen, I went and Spring of Misted Up Me, a level 26 weapon for Black Rose. 22-13, the 13 accuracy is a bit lower than her current weapon, but again, you don't really get much with good accuracy in this game. You don't appear to really need it, though. Now, to give these items, you just yeah? gift them. What's up? Gift them to your party member, and they'll say something different depending on the item you give them. In Infection... They pretty much always said the same thing. I think if you gave them some insanely rare thing, they may say something different, but I wouldn't quote me on that. In Mutation, though, there's three distinct things they'll say. If you give them something average, they'll say one thing. If you give them something good, they'll say another. And if you give them something extraordinary, they'll say something else again. Oh, and they'll actually say something um, else entirely if you give them something utterly crappy. But that's aside. So if I give her the car in here, she'll say something that's one of the two higher-end ones, because this is a darn good weapon for her. 
You sure I can really have this? I... Uh... Um... Thank you. She equips it. It's a nifty-looking katana. And now in we go. Now that I'm done ranting about mindlessly. Fairly average-looking dungeon so far. Who are you? I can't tell over the wow I one-shot him. Okay, these mummy scissors are a piece of crap. I don't like the mummy scissors. Mummy scissors are probably one of the few enemies that make me really wish I had my 20 accuracy weapon still. Get back here and die. They're weak, they don't take all that many hits, but you rarely hit them. 